Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Candy. I'm a mama to five. On my channel, I like to share homeschooling, homesteading, gardening, cooking, um, day in the life stuff, just all kinds of stuff, grocery hauls, you name it. So um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we are preserving our Swiss chard for um, later when the garden season is over because we have an overabundance of it right now. We're eating it sauteed with garlic and butter for a uh, side for dinner a lot. We are also eating it chopped up and in our salads and we still just have tons and that's okay. That's why we have the garden. So anyways, let's jump into things. I'm going to show you how we blanch it, how we do the ice bath and um, get all the liquid back out of it so we can freeze it. Okay guys, so here I have our Swiss chard. I have a pot of already boiling water and then I also have a big bowl over there full of ice water. What I'm going to do is put big handfuls of this into the water and I'm just going to um, just put a good sized amount in there and let it boil for between one and a half and two minutes at a good steady boil and then when it is done boiling for that amount of time we will scoop it out and put it directly into the um, ice bath the ice bath is a super important part of this because that is what stops the cooking process so it doesn't become soggy or mushy. So anyways, here I'm just bringing it back up to a boil, going to let it cook for the minute and a half. I'm going to put it into my ice bath, let it cool down until it's completely cool, and then I'm going to take it and pull it all out of the ice bath, put it in a strainer, and let it just drip over a bowl until most of the liquid is out and then when that is done I will start um, kind of squeezing it around with my hands and trying to get any extra liquid out of it and then from there we will get it ready to go in the freezer. Okay so as you can see I am hitting um, a good boil again so we will just let this go for about a minute and then get it pulled out of there. Once you have a, most of your liquid squeezed out of this at the end, you could put it in a Ziploc bag, but I'm gonna actually vacuum seal mine because uh, I want it to last long-term in the freezer. So later in the winter when I'm making soup, I can pull it out, chop it up like chopped spinach, or um, even leave it like it is and just saute it with some butter or whatever. And we have it for a side or in our soup or what have you, and it's um, ready to go and it's, you know, not going to freeze or burn or anything like that. So here is the first batch coming out of the boiling water and going into the strainer, or actually into the ice bath. Once I get it all done and cooled, that's when I'll put it in the strainer. Okay, anyways, let's get moving with this and get all the rest of this blanched as well. <music> Thank you. 
All right, guys, so now I'm getting this vacuum sealed. I'm going to put it in the freezer, and it will last six months to a year in your freezer if you vacuum seal it. Probably only three or four months in a Ziploc bag unless you can get it really airtight. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love to chat in the comments below. I would really appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.